Hey, what's up? This is The Creatures just hanging out. Yesterday I was having some fun with my Steam Deck. I don't use it as much as I used to because I don't travel, so I don't play a lot of PC games on it or the Xbox um, 360 Game Pass anymore. So the big thing is, is that I wanted to find a way to put emulation on it as a side loader per se. I'm a noob at all this. I flirt with emulation. I'm not a pro at this like ETA Prime, which I'd go check him out. I'll put his link down below because he's amazing. I discovered this because I got an email from um, a company that I deal with. I play around with in uh, a company in the UK. And so I was like, oh, wow, you can side load onto an SD card, memory card into your Steam Deck. I didn't want to take up the internal drive. I didn't want to download all these different emulators. This, uh, I think they pronounce it, but Barasuda Linux software. It's going to be an open source and completely free retro gaming where you can put on a USB stick or you can put it on an SD. You can put it in your Steam Deck. You can put it on old PCs, Raspberry Pis. Play around a lot with RetroPie, so I wanted to try something different because I'm a big Hyperspin fan and Saucy fan, and I kind of like the scroll, scroll menu. So I ended up downloading this after four to six hours watching videos and reading about it on their wiki page, trying to figure out if they had 6th gen and 7th gen uh, support, which they do, even 8th gen with the Wii U. And so I was just playing around and they have a lot of opportunity or you have a lot of opportunity to play all these different systems on your Steam Deck now by just getting a SD card from Amazon. Could be any size and we'll talk about that here in a moment. But yeah, so I just wanted to plug and play because all my other games I download are on my one terabyte SD card that I download from Steam. So I just plug them. Whatever systems I want to play, I just plug the SD card in there if that makes sense. So if you want to hang out and learn more about this, make this as simple as possible because it only takes a few minutes to get all this set up. You're going to need a couple of different things. So let's go back to the video so you can watch that so you don't have to just look at me. And I'm going to add one here. Whoops. So these are the things that I needed to move forward. I watched a lot of these videos and a lot of these videos, once you downloaded this and once you got it on your system, they were going to have you buy an external hub to plug in or make sure you have a external hub so you can utilize a keyboard and mouse. I didn't want that. Even though I have a hub and I have the Steam Deck hub for it, I didn't want to use that. The other thing that I started looking up was, oh, software. And then I was watching these videos where they said, download software on your Steam Deck. Go to the Steam Deck desktop. Go to your computer um, and download the same software. And then you got to transfer it through the software and everything. Nah, didn't want to do that. I'm like, I wanted to go through my network. Just like the Raspberry Pi, I wanted, I wanted to find a way to do this. And it was really hard finding videos out there. And then the verbiage on a lot of these websites, even though the Wikipedia is so awesome, getting started can be somewhat difficult because you start seeing these graphs and charts and files and all this stuff. And you're just kind of like, okay, what is user data and all this stuff? So I'm going to make all that easy for you. Don't even need to talk about that anymore. So, like I said, what you're going to need is you're going to need a computer. I prefer Windows. I'm not a Mac user, so I'm sorry if I can't help you with a Mac. You can put down in the comments that I suck. It's okay. I'm a really nice guy just trying to make this easy for you. Hopefully, I can make this video under 15 minutes. So, computer with Windows. Get yourself an SD micro memory card, and hopefully you have a reader. So, as an example, I found this guy, 256 I went with. On Amazon for $22.99. They'll have some that will come with USB readers. Let's go here. I'll show you as an example. 
what I'm talking about, what a reader is, in case you don't know. That's funny because I click on this one for Chromebook and it comes with a reader. So this would be the reader. If you don't have one of these, you'll need one of those. A lot of these guys will uh, come with their, let me show you, adapter. So if you have this size adapter right there, you can use that. You don't even need the reader, but you want to make sure you have those. You're going to need a Wi-Fi network. Of course, you're going to need a Steam Deck. And you might need 7-Zip, and that will extract it, unzip the file for you. Because depending, depending on how you download it, you just, you'll just you probably need that. And what I mean by that is you want to start step one. If you have all these these five things, well, we can... Um, we can get step five at the very end or close to then. What you want to start off with is you, you want to go to the website. Links are down below. Sorry, my mouth is dry. I'm talking a lot. I've tried doing this video like 50 times. Since I don't have an editor or anything, it hasn't been fun. I've been screwing up a lot because I'm a noob. I'm not a pro. Okay, so you go here, .org. Baricella, Budacella, I'm butchering this name, 35. I'm just going to call it Linux 35 going forward. You click on that. You'll see here all the different systems. You can use your old PCs, which is super cool here. 15 years and older, which is awesome. You got Raspberry Pis, you got Rock Chip, all sorts of fun things in here to play around with. But since the Steam Deck is so powerful, it's probably one of the better ones to emulate a lot of these different systems. That's something, go watch ETA Prime, he'll tell you all about that. But anyways, you click on that, get Linux 35. Oh, before I get this, so I clicked on this, I, I clicked here, looked at this, don't update to the stable channel, Vericella 35 isn't compatible. I was so confused by that. Watched a couple more videos, they were confused me, they were talking about 36 versus 35. The older ones and all that stuff. So I just went for it. I clicked on it. You probably want to put this on your desktop so you can find it. I made my own folder here. I downloaded it. It's going to be a GZ file. It's going to take about four minutes if you have pretty decent internet. Just wait until it's done. Once it's done, you're going to put it down here or put in, you're going to have it in your folder, find it in your folder. Keep that there. The next step, what we're going to do is then we're going to go etcher. Well, let me close out of that because it won't let me do it. Done that many, many times and you thought I would learn by now. You're going to download etcher. Go to their website. I'll have this down. I'll have this in the down below for you. You click on etcher. And none of these are going to have viruses. None of this is going to uh, infect your computer because these are all legit websites. These are all from the manufacturers. You can go here and I have downloaded it. Etcher for Windows, the very top one. Clicked on that, downloaded it. What that's going to do is once that installs, you just go to your computer and you're going to find it, right? So that's a fun wallpaper. Let's let's have show that wallpaper a little bit more. Okay. Once you download Etcher, you'll click on it, you'll install it wherever you put it. Hopefully you're if you're if you're doing this on your Steam Deck, you probably know how to install software. I'm not liable for anything. I apologize for that, but I, I hope you know how to install stuff. You install the software. This will pop up. You're gonna click on your flash file, which you're gonna find your GZ Linux 35 file. You're gonna oh, you know what? This is 36 in it. Anyways. You're going to click on your GZ file. I'm not even going to wrap my head around that one. Baricella, I think is how you pronounce it. You're going to click on this file. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to hit here. Click there. It's going to load into this. It might take a second depending on your processor and everything. I have a 59. Is it a 5950X and a RTX 3090. So my stuff runs pretty damn quick. 128 gigs on this PC. Then you're going to click your select target. Your select target is basically 
is, not basically, is your SD card, whatever size you went with, right? You're going to click on this. Here, you click on your scan disk. Don't pay attention to my 128 gigabit. This is something different than the one that I have in my Steam Deck. My Steam Deck is currently on right now. We'll get to that here in a moment. You're going to select that. You're going to hit flash. It's going to go through. It takes a few minutes. It's going to process. It's going to finish up. It's going to let you know. Once you're done with that, you're going to take your SD. Hopefully you understand that you need to eject it. Make it safe. You'll find it over here. You'll eject it, right? You pull it out. You're going to have your Steam Deck off. You're going to take your SD card, put it in. You're going to hold the volume key on the top left, which is volume down, basically. You can look at it as a little negative. Not the plus, a little negative. So you hold down the left. Hit the power key once. And then let go of the volume key. It'll boot into the two different drives, the internal drive and the SD drive. You're going to go to the SD drive. Click on that once. The, the, a lot of videos are saying it's going to take five minutes or so to install Vericella Linux on this. Mine took like 15 minutes to load really quick. You don't have BIOS on there. You don't have ROMs on there or anything, but it boots up pretty quick, even with all the ROMs that I have on here. Once that boots up, You'll be on the main screen of Linux 35 Varicella. You're going to click the three buttons at the top right. And that's going to bring up the main menu inside your Steam Deck. Go up here. Have this open. All right. Let's see where. Okay, I'm just using this YouTube channel because I don't have an editor. I'm not cool like that. So you'll hit the three buttons. You'll see Varicella back here. Varicella will look different depending on what um, themes you want to go with. And you'll play around with your themes. It doesn't matter what theme you have. You'll play with those later. You hit the three little buttons on your Steam Deck up in the top right. This will open. You go main menu. You're going to scroll down to network settings. Once you're on network settings, let me move this. You're going to have two different things. You're going to have your enabled Wi-Fi on or off. If it's off, you need to turn it on. I'm going to guess this is your first time getting in here, so you're not going to have your network set up yet. So you'll come down here to enable Wi-Fi. You're going to cl click on that to enable it. And it should look like this right here. Then you're going to go Wi-Fi SSID. That's going to be your network name. Mine is Baby Yoda is dope. Your network's going to be whatever. You're going to click on that. Your Wi-Fi key is going to be your password. Whatever you have to do, log into on your network, that's what it's going to be. You're going to click back. It will say connect. You're going to go back to the main menu. But you will be here and then at the bottom will say something like connecting or connect it or complete it. You'll go network settings again. Who cares what it says down here? Just click on network settings again. Once you click on network settings again, let me find it again. You're going to have an IP address up here now. It's going to say internet status connect it. Okay. This is going to help you transfer your BIOS and your ROMs over your network. If you didn't do this, everybody was telling you to get a hub and a keyboard and a mouse and plug it in. You're going to have all this extra hardware, which is going to be really annoying. And the thing is, is that what you want to do is you want to just have that network right down that key. Okay. Then you're going to go to, and you can come here way before you do everything else. And what, if you're waiting for the Varicella, to download, you can go come here. This is going to be archive.org. You're going to go to the search. You're going to type in Baricella 35 BIOS. Check out this website. Give yourself some time. It's really fun. But you're going to click in this. I'll have that down below as well. In fact, I can probably just, I don't know. I'll have this down below so you know what to type in. You click go. 
It's going to pull up. And there's going to be these four here. All I did was click on the first one. I know that this one has 418,000, 222,000, these last two. This is the lowest one. I clicked on the very first one. So I clicked on that. I downloaded that to my folder, which is right here. You might have to unzip it. I don't remember. If you have to unzip it, there's a free software, Windows you can unzip it, but you can also go to 7-Zip. And I'll have that in the link below. You download this, install this, if you need to unzip your BIOS folder, okay? You have your BIOS there. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to open up your full, uh, file explorer. So you got this little file down here, you right click, and you got file explorer. Really simple, you don't have to go in here and start and search or that stuff, you just have to Click on your file explorer. If you don't have your file explorer, I take that back. You're going to have to type, you know, file explorer as well in the search. However you want to get to it. Click on that. And so basically, no matter where you're at, this one's loading because I'm doing some stuff in the background. If you're on home, if you're on your on this PC, it doesn't matter where you're at. What you want to do is just click on this and you want to go backspace, backspace. And then you're going to type in that number you wrote down on your from your network IP connection. So you're going to write down. I don't know where it is. I think I, I think I clicked too far, accidentally. Here we go. You're going to write, and I'm you to. I'll link this here. This guy, I give him credit because he was the one at saving grace after all this. IP address. You're going to write that down. Yours is going to be different. Mine is 35, this one's 13 on here. Yours will be different, but it's gonna be 10.0.0. something, some number. So you're gonna write that down. But then you're gonna come up here. Let's make it bigger, a little bit bigger for you. Doesn't matter which one I use. Like I'm trying to tell you, File Explorer, you just go in here. And then you're gonna talk 10 0 dot zero dot zero dot whatever your number is minus 35 gonna click on it windows 10 and windows 11 are both gonna have a share folder in here you have a different one on windows 10 i don't have windows 10 so i can't tell you what it's gonna be but you're gonna have a share folder that's your steam deck you're gonna click on this you're gonna open this up you're gonna see a bunch of different things for your Steam Deck. Wherever you put your BIOS that we just downloaded, wherever that's at, you're gonna basically open up this full pack BIOS and you're gonna take save ROM and BIOS, copy them, highlight them, drag them, copy them, whatever you need to do. You're gonna put them in here. It's gonna register and what it's going to end up doing, it'll ask you to replace. If you come across replacing, you're going to end up replacing this. This is going to say it's going to take an hour. It doesn't. It speeds up. But you're going to basically take these three and put them into where I just showed you on your network, your share. So if you're back here, you're going to go share. You're going to drop these three in here. You already see save ROMs and BIOS. It's going to replace it. It's not going to damage anything. Okay. Now you have all the BIOS on there for you. Really simple. The very last thing you're gonna end up doing is you can close this window out. Once you're, we can close this too. We don't need that open. Once you're in here and you have your BIOS already transferred over and all set up, you're gonna go to your ROMs. You can put whatever ROMs in here you want. I'm not gonna show you any, but you'll have all your systems in here because of the BIOS and because of the ROMs. They'll all be in here. And you're able to now transfer ROMs on here all wirelessly. Oh my goodness, you do not need a hub, a keyboard, a mouse. You want that? That's great. You can do this all day, every day. And what's great about this is I have my Steam Deck plugged in on right now and I can transfer games into here wirelessly just like you can on Raspberry Pi as an example. And this is such a beautiful thing. I did this under 20 minutes. That's it.
Hopefully this helped you out. Hopefully that made sense. You need help with anything? Comment down below. If you hated it, hated this, thumbs it down. I'm just trying to help you out with your ROMs and your emulation on your Steam Deck without loading this onto the internal drive and downloading all the different apps out there that you don't need. You don't need these Dolphin emulators on your Steam Deck. You can put this on a separate S, S, sorry, SD card, memory card. Thank you for hanging out with me. Please like, please subscribe. This was a pain in the butt. This took me a lot longer than I wanted to take, but I really wanted to help you out because six to seven hours of reading and watching YouTube channels. We just did this in 20 minutes and it is February of 2023. Please tell me what I screwed up. If I ever do one of these videos again, I want to make sure if a lot of people are saying the same things. I fix it. Thank you very much. This is Noob Gamer. My name's actually The Creatures, a.k.a. Dave. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for doing you. Keep being you. Love you all. Thank you for letting me be creative. Have a great day.